Mansions is a 2014 French American action film. It's indeed Paul Walker's last officially completed movie. I just got back from a screening and the plot is it's set in the near future, 2018, where Detroit is so crime ridden that the government has basically sanctioned off this whole area. It's called Brick Mansions and it's where all of the drug dealers, just all of the sort of low life people in this area live at. There's no schools, there's no police, they just run amok and do whatever the fuck they want. Paul Walker is an undercover cop who gets assigned to go into Brick Mansion and stop the head guy who's running all of this operations. Now what I thought of Brick Mansions was Okay, technically it might not be the greatest film as far as plot, as far as just things making sense. But I did end up having a little bit of fun with this movie. Now, I want to talk about this guy, David Bell. He, I've never seen him before, but this guy was pretty incredible just as far as the stunts, the fighting, the martial arts, the stuff he was just able to pull off and you could tell he was probably hired because he could do all of it himself. The beginning where you see that he's being chased by this gang and he's jumping over rooftops, through windows, and eh, there's so much ability that clearly rehearsal that just went on in those scenes that it was just impressive first and foremost, to see him do all of that. Uh, Paul Walker, it was a little weird to see and know that this is his last movie. Like, I kind of wanted to love this movie just for that because when he died, I spent a good month or so watching, like, all of his films. A lot of them I hadn't seen before. So I got to really appreciate him as an actor. And here I think he's good. Is he playing a character that we've never seen him play before? No, an undercover cop who's the good guy. Sure, we've seen him play that countless times, but that still doesn't make him any less entertaining. Seeing him, especially partnered with David Bell, when they get forced to work together, because David Bell is also, he's being chased by the same gang and the leader that Paul Walker has to go in after, so they end up having to work together and they had good chemistry, just back and forth, a lot of funny moments between them. Let's get to the leader of this gang, the RZA. I don't like the RZA as an actor. I mean, I like the Wu-Tang Clan, I like their music, but this guy cannot act. I'm sorry, I've never seen him be able to act before this movie, and this movie especially did not prove me wrong. He's, he starts off as like the lead main bad guy, and he's supposed to be evil, he's, he's villainous, he's doing all of this stuff that's supposed to come off as threatening and scary, but I'm kind of laughing at how not only horrible he is, but just how non-threatening I am found him. But then it's like all of this setup at the beginning with him being this evil villain, what they do with it at the end is just so out of left field. I don't want to give it away for spoilers, but it's just, I was so confused by the end of the movie with his character. I just didn't really understand it. And that too works into the plot where the plot is so muddled, so all over the place. You could say that, oh, it's just a big action film with a lot of cool fights and whatnot, and it's more of a fun movie, and yeah, I did have fun with it to that degree, but especially the ending, it just came to a point where I was like, okay, this is kind of bullshit right now, like, I, I literally have to turn my brain off and be stupid to buy this plot. However, again, I could admit, the fighting, the fight scenes were cool. The choreography was pretty damn awesome. I like the chemistry between Paul Walker and David Bell. I think they're the saving grace of the movie. They carry the film. So on that level, I had fun with it. My rating, 
I, you know, I guess I should say rental, but I'm gonna give it a matinee. I know, it's weird, I almost don't want to, but and I'm not just doing this because it's Paul Walker's last film. I'm being honest on the script level of this movie, but it is a lot of fun. And if you can sort of not pay attention to the plot details and stuff not making sense, you will have a good time with this movie. So guys, let me know in the comments below, do you have any interest in seeing Brick Mansions? Also, rest in peace Paul Walker. This movie has reminded me just how much I'm going to miss this guy as an actor. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!